Great to meet you, Libby. Great to meet you too. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good, good. So tell me a little bit about your business. So I run the business Every Origin, okay. and it is ethical gifts for well-being. So it's all centered around improving your well-being. Uh, so encouraging people to connect, to pause and relax and to move and all those things that kind of improve your well-being. Um, so I'm selling online and at markets in London and I've recently launched a candle refill service. Okay. Yeah. So it runs from a refill shop. So um, these shops where you take your containers and you you refill. Uh, they're kind of growing across London. Oh, like you go and get your pulses and your nuts, and you don't take bags. You take your Tupperware. Exactly. Must be Tupperware. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Or any container. And what sort of marketing appeal have you done? We've literally zero. I mean, I've I've been on your Instagram. I've stalked you, obviously, <laughs> on social, but. Other than that, kind of... I haven't really done anything. So I've been kind of working on the vision and the, the kind of story of the business. Uh, it focuses on well-being and I use my experiences and my uh, challenges with my mental health and my well-being uh, to promote uh, positive well-being. So, so yeah, I've, I've really kind of been working on the story and I haven't been trying not to sell as well because okay. I want the business to... That be... could be a problem. Yeah, I you know, want I know. sustainable it's business and just putting it out there. I know, I know. <laughs> I've been focusing on the sustainable aspect of the business okay. and, and not the business sustainability okay. so much. So now I'm kind of... Now that I'm gaining confidence and, and know which products are selling... Um, now I really want to kind of amp up that marketing and sales, but still doing it in an ethical way. Mm -hmm. So I've got Instagram has, is probably my biggest platform um, and selling at markets is popular as well because then I can talk to the customers and talk through the sustainable aspect. Um, so it's, there's really two types of customers, ones that are into, into the refill revolution, as I call it and becoming uh, more sustainable. And then other other customers who are a little bit further away and they're, they're intrigued, they, you know, they're hearing about this climate crisis and you know, they want to be more sustainable, but they're not quite sure how. So I've also got a community uh, through Facebook where I'm promoting uh, positive ways that you can be more sustainable and a kind of a forum where people can support each other and uh, do it in a, in a positive way of you know how to become more sustainable so do you have any marketing PR background interest? none whatsoever okay, but you're clearly creative yeah yeah much more on the creative side and I can see that you've got a passion yeah for what you're doing so kind of my first bit of advice to you and having looked at your website and having looked at your Instagram specifically is I think really kind of crystallizing who you're talking to yeah and what you're trying to say because you've got a lot of really great messages but there's a lot of them and that's true when you're running a business especially when it's a startup mm. you've already got quite a lot to focus on i mean you're doing everything from making candles to making um, fabric gifts you're sourcing from other countries and from the UK pulling things together mm. you're turning up at markets you, you you're doing a lot of things operationally yes. so actually honing down on your message and thinking about well which markets am I trying to target mm -hmm. and when I, I asked you there you were talking about kind of people who are in the refill revolution and then people are further away you mentioned corporates dining so I would kind of really focus on you know maybe you want to give come up to Christmas focus on just kind of uh, your refill people, uh, mm. the people who are already believe your philosophy, they're already um, advocates for it, and they might be looking for Christmas gifts or you know for friends and family to get them to hashtag refill revolution. Um, yeah. If you want to go for corporates, I would suggest again kind of taking that step back and thinking about what's in it for them. Mm. So if you're looking at um, kind of corporates or retail um, re restaurateurs. How are you going to um, kind of make it even easier for them? So it's not just about the marketing message. It's about, well, okay, but at the moment I get my candles in from mm, wherever. They get mm, delivered. Yeah. You know, I've, I'm, I've been told that they're made from ethical wax. Is there ethical wax? Uh, ethical <laughs> wax. But it just appears and, and, and it's easy for me. So mm. why am I now having to slog down to Hackney to 
drop my containers off to to do that so you yeah. are, you're going to get a very small percentage of restaurateurs who are part of that kind of refill revolution and that reuse recycle mm. kind of movement who are going to be prepared to do that so again it's kind of kind of thinking well what what message is it for these people and how do i make it really easy for them because that drives your marketing it's mm. all about the messaging and it's all about that authenticity which you've got in spades yeah. you absolutely have a really clear passion for what you're doing so that's the first thing decide yeah, who that, you're talking to yeah a lot of sense yeah and then really drive that message down let's let's take your social as, as a good example so is your instagram a business instagram it is yes okay, okay. so you look at your analytics uh i do don't yes you but think to me. <laughs> i i i look at engagement but i don't really understand okay. what that means and i look at the number of uh, visits that I have, um, yeah, I don't, I don't. So Instagram and the analytics are really, really powerful, as are Facebook, yeah. so, well, all of them actually, every single one of them, because it pays for them to be able to give you that information. So you can actually drill down, you can find out what the gender split is mm. on your Instagram. Yeah, so I know that. Yes, yeah. and yeah. you can look at their age, you can look I've at I've got where the age, I've got the right customers, okay. and the right location, but, um, is that converting to sales? Well, I did I notice, and forgive me if I'm wrong, but I can't buy from your Instagram. Yes, I know. I've, I need to... So that's I possibly need, not helping your yeah, conversion. Yeah, exactly. I need to contact them because I have I have listed products. Okay. But it's still under Okay, reviews, so you've tried. So I have tried. Oh, God, loves to try. Tried. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that clickability is really important. I do it's understand really, that. really, really, yeah. really important. Um, but so that won't get the that won't necessarily get the candle refill customers either, um, because they need to go to to the restore okay. shop. So it's kind of thinking how can I locally attract those customers? So I've, I'm going to be selling at a zero waste market. Okay. So it's specific zero waste uh, customers who are paying for a ticket to come to these markets. Uh, so that's one avenue that I've kind of decided okay my markets need to be very targeted mm -hmm. to the right people um, but yeah I'm not sure if I should be doing more than that well you could try and sell a story into your local newspaper mm -hmm. um, I think it really you know again it goes back to the demographics and the sorts of people you might onboard a few customers from there mm -hmm. um, but I would suggest actually partnering further with the refill store yeah so yeah. do they have a mailing list and if they don't why don't you start one um yeah, because yeah. that and, and that'll encourage customers that are already using your candles to join the mailing list give them mm. incentives to get friends and family to you know whether it's 10 percent off you know if you refer somebody or they get a discount but start to build your mailing list because because you're so niche mm. um you've got to kind of You've got to lean into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and because you have the challenge of being very new, so you don't want to kind of overextend yourself, being very niche, mm -hmm. um, and then kind of you're limited, I guess, in terms of where you can sell that particular service. Because as you say, people can't send the pots into you or mm -hmm. the containers and then you refill it and ship it back. Mm -hmm. But perhaps something that's I could something look at, yeah. It, it gives another whole logistics, but it does. But people it might pay be the right for way. it. People yeah. will pay for mm. obviously posting packaging, and I think this is something that lots of small businesses kind of forget when they think about marketing. They think, well, how do I just kind of shout about shout 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 mm. about my product? Sales is part of the marketing mix, not the other way around. So you need to develop your sales strategy, and to do that, you need to think about well, how do I make it as easy as possible for my customers to get my product? Because from there you'll get your messages.